appreciate to see you live in the Bronx at the scene of that truck that caught fire. I just spoke with FDNY officials and they tell me uh, it was a truck carrying pro propane as well as epoxy and that is what kind of exacerbated this fire. And take a look, I mean, the truck is gone and there's nothing but the frame of the truck left. It also damaged several cars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like at least seven cars have been damaged and burned as well. And there's a home right next to where that truck uh, is. Uh, you can see the paneling on the outside of it is, is burned. Some of the blinds are burned as well. Firefighters do say, though, luckily uh, it was minor damage to the home. It did not go inside. Uh, so this truck is under the East Chester uh, Dyer Dyer subway station, uh, which is the final stop on the number five train here in the Bronx. Uh, we want to change some video from uh, Citizen app where you can see just how big those flames were. And fire officials tell me this was actually a somewhat unique fire uh, because of what they had to use to put it out. We were on an all hands assignment, which is about 60 fire and EMS personnel. Uh, four hose lines total, which is pretty unique. And one of the hose lines happened to be a foam hose line, which we use for flammable liquids due to the epoxy, which doesn't get done very often. So it was pretty unique, uh, unique fire. Back out here live, you know, fire, uh, the fire marshal will be investigating the exact cause of this fire. But speaking with FDNY officials just now, they do believe that this could have been because of a mechanical issue in the truck.